His name is Johnny White, and he's a native-born Texan, born on April 9, 1959 in Midland, Texas. When he was a year old, he moved with his family to East Texas. There they settled on a 100-acre spread called the Old Heath Farm near a small town known as Commons. His first memories of life begin there at the Old Heath Farm. That's where he remembers his first Christmas. That's where he also remembers riding horses and playing cowboys and Indians with his brothers. That's where he learned how to swim and play baseball. Johnny started first grade in September 1965 at A.O. Day Elementary School there in Commons. Early on in life, he has always been blessed with three important gifts. First, he was always the smartest kid in the neighborhood. Second, he learned early on the art of winning friends and influencing people. And third, he was a young boy born with vision. His musical training began at an early age as well. He learned to sing his first song at age six and started playing the guitar when he was eight. He performed on stage the first time when he was 11 and wrote his first song by the time he was 13. Johnny's father was killed in a tragic automobile accident when he was only eight years old. Poverty and government assistance soon became a way of life for the family. Later on, his mother remarried a cotton farmer and the family moved 10 miles out in the country in a small community known as Jotham Down. Johnny spent his formative years growing up there on the farm in Jotham Down. He started high school at Cooper High School in Cooper, Texas in the fall of 1973. His high school years were spent playing music in church, in school, and in local talent contests. He graduated senior class president from Cooper High School. After high school, Johnny put down his guitar and went off to see the world. Compliments of Uncle Sam and the United States Air Force. He would circle the globe twice during a 10-year career, serving tours in both Southeast Asia and the South Med. His son, Johnny Jr., was born while he was in boot camp in San Antonio, Texas in July of 1977. His first assignment was to Carswell Air Force Base in Fort Worth, Texas. There, his second child was born, a daughter named Jennifer. After three years in Fort Worth at Carswell, he was off to Southeast Asia to South Korea, the land of the morning calm. Johnny spent two years there in Korea, stationed on a Korean Air Force Base called K-2. Upon his return to the United States, he was transferred to the Air Force Base in Altus, Oklahoma. After two years there in Altus, Johnny was off once again, this time to the South Med, where he was stationed on the Greek Air Force Base called Araxos. After a year there at Araxos, Johnny returned to Tinker Field in Oklahoma City to muster out of the service. He was honorably, honorably discharged from the Air Force there at Tinker Field in October 1988. After his discharge, Johnny returned home to Texas to pursue his destiny in music. He settled back in Commerce and bought a small house on the outskirts of town. Later on, he converted an empty bedroom into a jam room and Bad Street was officially born. Bad Street was extremely crucial to Johnny's musical career later on. Bad Street was where he learned to play the electric guitar, the bass guitar, the keyboards, the drums, and the trumpet. Bad Street was where he learned to play the piano and to read and write sheet music. Bad Street was where he wrote the majority of the 100 or so songs that he would later record. Bad Street was also where he resurrected his old childhood nickname, Johnny Guitar. Bad Street was also where he played in his first band, playing bass in his older brother's band. But all good things got to come to an end and Bad Street was no different. After three years there on Bad Street, Johnny hooked up with his ex-wife, Teresa, in the summer of 1994. That fall, he closed down Bad Street and moved in with her in Paris, Texas. After tasting success in his first band, Johnny Guitar decided to strike out on his own. After moving to Paris in the fall of 94, he quickly put together his first band, which he called the Bad Street Band. The band he put together was a seven-piece R&B outfit with Johnny out front during the vocals. Throughout the mid-1990s, the band played local fairs in VFW halls up and down the Red River Valley. Frustrated with his lack of success, Johnny disbanded the group and moved to Dallas, Texas to seek his fortune and fame as a solo act. After six months of knocking on every door in town, he realized that the opportunities in Dallas were no better than those in Delta County. 
Six months later, he was back home in Commerce. Having no luck playing with a band or making it solo, Tony pretty much gave up playing live and went to work on recording his first CD. It took some time in several recording studios, but he eventually recorded a CD that he thought was marketable. Unfortunately, he was wrong once again. It seems the radio stations wouldn't play it because it wasn't format, and the stores wouldn't sell it because it wasn't a major label. So, it was back to the drawing board for Johnny once again. Johnny Guitar moved on next to recording video, although it was by accident. He lost all hope of trying to make it big playing with a band and was in need of a new direction. One day, while at a small local auction, Johnny bought a used video camera. Later on, he used the film camera to start filming jam sessions and band rehearsals there in the studio. Eventually, he started taking the camera out to the clubs and filming various live performances. Then, he learned how to mix and edit the videotape on his computer. Soon, he was mixing audio and video to produce his own music videos. Unfortunately, the music videos he was producing were no less more marketable than the CDs he'd recorded. So, Johnny eventually progressed to producing longer and more in-depth productions like his first project, a one-hour documentary on the history of Texas music. His next project was to film a live concert, and then he produced another documentary, this time on Texas blues great Blind Lemon Jefferson. His latest project is to produce his own live television show. Television is uniquely different from music and music videos. Unlike radio, television has a market that can be exploited. In other words, you can buy airtime on television stations, unlike radio stations. So the idea is to produce a live TV show and try to get it on TV. The new Johnny Guitar Show is currently under production and scheduled to start filming in the summer of 2015. Johnny Guitar continues to live in Commerce, Texas with his girlfriend Leslie and his two dogs, Lily and Luke. He also continues to write and publish on a daily basis. His latest music project is a tribute CD to Frank Sinatra. His latest music video project is a video he's working on called Pawn Shop Blues. And his latest film project is a new documentary on the Baby Boomer generation. You can check out the entire Johnny Guitar collection online on YouTube. Go online and Google youtube.com slash Lone Star Johnny Guitar. <laughs>